It's a beautiful day here in southwestern Ontario. It's 29 degrees of sunshine, and you know what that means. I'm trying to record a video here. We're going fishing. All right, guys, we are down here at the creek. I'm gonna show you what I'm using today. I got a little eighth ounce jig and a float about 18 inches above it. We're gonna see if the crappie are in. The water is exceptionally green. It's usually clear, but and my truck said on the way down here, it was 29 degrees, which means it is hot. See the gar pike moving around there. I'm using this old school bobber. This Canadian tire didn't have the normal bobbers I like. A lot of carp in here. All right, guys, I got a really small spinner bait with a plastic trailer. Now, I don't know how well this is gonna cast on this bait caster, but it's got a single Colorado blade. See, I don't wanna spin very good. What is that? Oh, it's a bass. Not in season, folks. Not bad. They gotta go back. There's not a whole lot of action in this spinnerbait here, so you gotta pretty much put the action in yourself. Doing a slow, steady retrieve, but I'm just giving it a jerk now and then. Trying to get that blade moving. Last thing I want to do is foul hook one of these big carp. Big crap, he came right off the shoreline here and took that. But... He spit it out as fast as he bit it. There we go. So the spinnerbait I had, I took the skirt off to avoid these guys. That's a nice fish right there. So I changed the skirt up. I changed it to white instead of the watermelon color. And hopefully made it a little smaller so that the bass didn't want it. Clearly that's not the case. Stress enough, we are not trying to catch bass. However, that's fast too. Crappy nothing.
couple little turtles. <laughs> little guy hit that just before I was about to bring it out of the water. A lot smaller. Pretty colors though. A lot smaller. That one is bigger. Again, not what I want. A little more feisty. That's a good fish right there. Come on, Mike. Get back in there. Never want to drop the fish. Never. Guys, I can't stress enough to finish your cast. Like what I mean by that is bring it all the way to shore. Don't quit 10 feet out. Don't quit 20 feet out. All the way to shore. I've had more fish hit at my feet than I have out offshore. God, look at the size of that. Mm. That thing is huge. All right, we're gonna have to go try a different spot here. This is nothing but bass. That's not what we're looking for. In a few weeks, maybe, but not right now. Well, guys, this does not look promising at all. The water is way, way down and dirty. I stand corrected. Again, it's not a crappie. That's a nice little bass. I thought for sure there'd be nothing in here because of the, uh, how low the water is, how dirty the water is. That is not crappy again. They're there. They're just not hitting it. Trying to make the bait even smaller for them so that maybe the bass don't want to touch it. So, you make the bait smaller. You just catch smaller bass.
the hell do I got here? I think we got ourselves a dogfish. We definitely don't want him. Oh. Well, that's not good. I kind of knew that was going to happen. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. The crappy, we're not interested. The bass, it's like that every time down there. You got to fight them off. When you're looking for one fish, you got to fight off the bass to get to them. And uh, as you saw, I downsized my bait quite a bit. A couple different times trying to catch the crappy, not the bass. Because they are not in season here, and you cannot target them here in Ontario. Nevertheless, there was clearly just more bass than crappy. And maybe the bass were a lot faster than the crappy. Either way, it was a good day fishing. So get yourself off the couch. Get outside and enjoy the outdoors. And we'll see you all in the next one. Oh, hey, subscribe button. Thank you very much.